Sensibo mask. Again, uh, I think I used it once in the whole year. Uh, Snap Happy from Essie. I got down to there in. Um, wasn't actually my go to red. I had a couple of other go to reds. Ali's Big Break is. It's about there. Again, not my go-to red this year. The Cosmetic Kitchen Clay Mask. You can see a theme beginning here already. Um, the masks didn't get as much attention as other things did. Nikki K Red Lip Liner. Uh, used about 2 mil of it in the whole year. I didn't actually wear red lipstick a whole lot this year, uh, which is probably why. The Bite Beauty Lip Pencil thing in pomegranate. Uh, I used probably a little bit more of that than I used of the pencil. Um, again, not really something I re was reaching for. Probably need to try to focus on this next year, get rid of it. And the Natio tinted, tinted Lip Balm in Smile. I did actually use, like this was brand new, I actually used, because like, this was all the way down here. I actually used like that much of it. Um, it is actually quite tinted. It's like not lightly tinted, it's actually quite brightly tinted. This is actually in my handbag um, to use when I'm out and about. So I'll probably just put it back in there. Um, yeah, so that was the red category. In the yellow gold category, we have the Elizabeth Arden 5th Avenue. Uh, I still haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. <laughs> the Ombra uh, SPF 30 Daily Defense Moisturizing Lotion. I would totally buy this again. I actually bought the tinted version of it. haven't tried it out, but I did buy the tinted version of this. The La Cura Twin Phase little samples are the type that you have to shake in order to like mix them together. I had two samples, use them both up. The La Cura QV Royale Anti-Aging with QT40 Luminous Serum Concentrate. Use this sample up. The Nooks uh, dry oil, I probably used about a quarter of, like it wasn't completely full in this, or it might have been, but um, yeah, I used some of it but not all of it. 
the Butt Naked uh, Luxurious Tout Free Body Powder in Satsuma, which is one of my favourite fragrances. Um, I didn't really use this. It, it's down here. The only reason it's down there is because Mum used it to um, put on ant trails because it was the closest talcum powder to hand, even though it's not actually talc. But there you go. Uh, all the glow stick. Um, is down there. Sorry for it freaking out the camera. It is a neon. Not going to be too much longer before that's not really usable anymore. I found with those little oily ones when they've got like that much in the bottom of them, you can't use them anymore. The Nutrametics um, Instant Radiance Beauty Balm sample, I used that one up as well as the L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil for hair. Didn't really think too much of that actually. Um, this was fine. And the Lon Vita Light 24 karat gold eye mask did not get used. I have a lot of masks that did not get used. And that is it for the yellow category. In the orange category, we have the Palmer's Facial Cleansing Oil and Facial uh, Perfecting Facial Oil. Both of these are used. The Monoderma. Uh, vitamin A, retinol, little do flicky things, they didn't get used. The palm olive oil infusions, body moisturizer with citrus and jojoba oil. I'd actually buy this if I get hold of it. The Palmer's moisturizing day cream. It was fine, it's just not my favorite scent. Uh, Natio. Sunflower nail polish. Yes. Down low. And Rising Star doesn't really look too much different than it has all the time. I have actually used this a few times. It just doesn't seem to have gone anywhere, probably because the bottle gets quite a bit wider. The Kerastase Nectar Thermique was fine. It's certainly far too expensive to actually buy. <laughs> Nails Ink Top Coat, um, which mainly got used to make sure that marks didn't come off of other products. Um, the Schwarzkopf Hair Repair Mask. This was almost full at the start of the year and it is empty. I used a lot of that. And I love the smell of this stuff. I don't know if it really helped my hair or not though. And finally in the orange category we have the original source daily scrub blood orange scent. She quite liked this. Um, I like the scrubby nature of it. This was like really messy and leaked everywhere. So that is it for the orange category. In the green category we have the Bliss Lemon Sage Body Butter. Quite like this except I don't really like sage. So I like the lemon, not sage. The Covergirl Pump Crusher in black brown this has been used on and off all year long so it is actually going out even though it's not technically finished um, for hygiene reasons as well as done as well and these two samples from Bay Many which I got in sample boxes and I have no idea what they are there are no instructions I haven't been able to find anything out about them so I'm actually going to use them because I I don't think it's worth risking it if you don't know what they actually are. So those are going as well. The Innisfree um, Green Tea Serum is all used up. Macadamia um, Oil Treatment. I actually really like this one. The Chlorine Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this is with quinine in it. This destroyed my hair. Do not recommend. The Seba Med Anti Dry Derma Soft Soft Wash. I don't think it did anything. It was just a wash thing. The Zucan 
the three Zookin samples. Uh, I think I mentioned the last time I did this, I never got to use any of them because they were all like dried up and stuff in the packaging before I even opened them. Um, the two Germain de Cappuccini um, samples and this little Avon a new sample. I love Domain de Cappuccini stuff. It's just pretty bloody pricey, but I would totally buy that stuff. If I had nothing else and I had some money, I would totally recommend. And lastly was Revlon's Moss, which is used up as well. It actually got made into a Franken polish, but it is gone. Which means I actually finished everything in the green category. And that is it for the green category. In the blue category, the John Frieda Fine to Full Blowout Spray. Haven't even taken it out of the box. So I guess I haven't finished that one. The Clinique Turnaround Concentrate. Um, I used probably half of this and I've actually decluttered it now. Um, it was beginning to um, look a little bit weird and it, it is quite a bit of an older product. So that one is gone. The Eslaw Botanical Peeling Gel Sample. I didn't really notice anything when I used that. Palmer's Cocoa Butter. It's not my favourite. Like, I really don't like the smell of shea very much, so I don't really like this. Had three samples of the Lacura Oxy Serum. I actually used up two, and I still actually have one left. Mainly because I just had so many serums I was using over the year, but that one will get used probably pretty shortly because I just finished a serum today. Not one that's in this project, but still. <laughs> uh, the Germain to Cappuccini, there were four of these samples. This one particularly I love. This is the one for um, normal to combination um, or normal to dry skin and it is so, so good. I love this. When I have dry patches down here, instantaneously made them better. Totally recommend. All the Angel Rain is all done and dusted. Love that stuff. And the Elf um, nail polish in uh, Navy is down about half, about halfway. Uh, and I used up my two containers of Physio Gel Hypoallergenic daily moisture. One of them was for dry sensitive and the other for very dry sensitive skin. So they both got done it as well. So that is it for the blue category. In the purple category, the Innisfree Awkward Enriched Cream. This is actually quite nice. I quite enjoyed using this one. The Jamboree Wraps, which I decided to get rid of because I really can't stand these things. Um, I had two sample packs of the Domain de Cappuccini eye cream. There's like a day cream and a night cream there. Of course, the Domain de Cappuccini. I liked them. Uh, the Versace Crystal Noir perfume did not get touched. Uh, Orly Charged Up is down about there. Lincoln Park After Dark from OPI is probably about there. Didn't really use those ones very much at all. NSI Nurture Oil, which is a cuticle oil. I actually quite liked this one. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it because it's pretty expensive, but um, yeah, it was good, except for this stupid stopper thing at the top kept breaking. The LA Colors Bold Lash uh, Mascara in Vivid Violet dried up. Jordana Quick Liner in Wild Orchid broke off and vanished. Um, I actually finished three lip lines this year because of this one. And the Maybelline Master Smoky in Smoldering Violet is still going. And that is it for the purple category. In the pink category, the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Pop and Pink has dried up. I finished off the Eco Lips Eco Tints Rose Quartz. It's actually very, very minty. Um, at first I didn't like it, but after a while it kind of grew on me. 
um, so it ends up using that up completely. The satin lip liner in Rosewood is done as well as the Kmart nude lip liner. So that is two more lip liners, so three so far this year, which I thought was really, really good. The L'Oreal um, Opera Ballerina Nail Polish. The Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Didn't actually touch. I'm actually thinking of giving this to my daughter because it is actually in medium. Uh, not really a colour that works for me. Not that I've actually tried it, so I have no idea, but probably not. Uh, the L'Oreal Base Magique is finished up. I actually quite liked this. The Pons Flawless White BB Plus. This is almost done. There is very little left in here. I actually really like this one. I prefer the anti-aging one, but if I can only get this one, I would totally get this one. The Grace Coal Wild Fig and Pink Cedar didn't actually get started at all. And the L'Oreal El Vive Arginine Resist Anti-Hair Fall Spray. I keep on using this. I think it must be down around about here, but there still seems to be lots in there. In the black category, the Harvey Prince Sincerely perfume is just down here. There's not a whole lot left. Probably two applications. Probably could have used a lot more, but I didn't. <laughs> the Biology Equilibrium Bio Body Lotion number 304. It was fine. It's just a body lotion. The Fashionista vanishing cream didn't really use it very much um, that is next on my list of primers to actually get used up the lol black eyeliner has that much left in it the Lancome black eyeliner which is what i actually used today it doesn't really look like it's gone very far uh, the Revlon Customize Mascara is the mascara I'm currently wearing. Um, I will probably just use this until I do my empties video and then get rid of it. Uh, it's not my favourite, it's okay. Uh, Ambience Dry Shampoo, I've literally like used to there. There's still heaps in here. It's just not something I reach for. The Revlon Photo Ready Primer is used, and the Avon A New Ultimate Sample is used. Then there was the three black nail polishes. This one is Black Swan from L'Oreal. It is done. And then I have Blackout and Liquid Vinyl, which are both still going. It's hard to tell where they are anyway. So that is it for the black category. In the grey silver category we have the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask, which didn't get touched. There are two samples here from Transformulas, which I also have not touched. One's a face serum and the other one is a lip volume increaser. Uh, the oops, Clarice Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliator, I used all of that up. It's that kind of one which is like a powder and you mix it with water or um, moisturiser um, or face wash type thing to scrub your face. Uh, Revlon Sparkle is about half done. And Orly Shine, which I have grown to love quite a bit, is down here. The BYS Pearlized Eyeliner has dried up. And I missed the pin. Uh, Color Theory Grey Eye Pencil didn't really get a whole lot of use. The LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Silver Chrome dried up. And the two grey eyeshadows 
have both been used but not enough to actually see any real progress. And that is it for the silver grey category. And finally in the white category, the fashion secret skin brightening thing did not touch. <laughs> Blossom Kosher Coffee Bean Scrub is used up. Did not like this as much as I liked the other cleanser that I used from her. Uh, Essie's good to go. Still got heaps in it. Um, two Oligodermy samples. They were fine. I don't think they're as good as Jermaine uh, Cappuccini. Uh, the... The Cura QV Royale Face Mousse, I used that up. The Madara Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream, I used that up. Avon Nutri Effects uh, Night Cream, I used that one up. L'Oreal Boho Look, is yeah, still going strong. I decluttered my colour tattoo in too cool because it just got too dry to actually use. And the CoverGirl Exact Lights in Black Sapphire. This is pretty much useless. It's a pretty much useless mascara. So this one is going as well. It has been used on and off for the whole year. So uh, yeah, that is everything in the white category. So out of the 100 items that were actually, or categories that were actually in there, because some of them had more than one item in them, but there were approximately half was used up. Um, it's a bit hard to be exact because in a couple of them I had used up part of the products that were in that category and not all of the products that were in that category. Um, but the, the lines that have marks on them, there are 54 of them. So it's just over half of what I actually had in the project. Probably not as successful as it could have been. Um, a lot of that was just me not necessarily reaching for products or using them or being distracted by other things. Um, hasn't been the best year since about halfway through the year. So uh, yeah, I didn't probably use as much of some things as I could have, but I'm overall, I am really happy with the amount of stuff that I've actually used up out of my collection, and particularly in the samples area. I had so many samples, I still have heaps of them, but I have reduced the number of samples I have by quite a bit. And because I'm not getting my beauty boxes as often, I don't have as many samples like backing up on me at the moment, which I think is pretty good. So that is my finale for my 100 colourful empties for 2017. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Click the bell if you want notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.